Have you seen the websites that post a message saying you're done, you can now safely close the window, and there is a button when you click, the browser window closes. The way these applications work is by calling window.close method. So let's see how we can test it with Cypress. It's only three steps, really. Before you do the action, like click, you have to create a spy or a stop to observe the method close call. Now, to get the window object in the application iframe, you say set window, and then you get a reference to the actual window object. You can stop that window method close. So you say this is the reference to the object, and this is the name of the method I want to replace with synthetic function. And give it an alias, let's say close. So say stop creates a scene on stop. So what happens now, if we click on this button, it calls that stop. It doesn't really close the browser window because we stopped it. We replaced the real behavior with synthetic empty function, but it keeps track of each call. Now, this is a button, it contains, uh, what does it contain, uh, close. So button, close, well click. So that's the action. You can see that our stop was indeed called. And now we have to con confirm that it was called once. So we're going to get it by alias because we gave that sin on stop and alias close. And we get it and we say should have been called once. There are multiple assertions in a chat synon library like called, called once, called twice, called with arguments. Now this is a uh, query and this is an assertion. So even if application calls it after some unknown delay, for example, let's say two seconds, right? It keeps testing and testing that stop until the application actually makes that call and the test continues successfully. So find this recipe and many, many more Cypress examples on my glebachmeda.com slash Cypress examples site. I'm going to post a link in the description of this video.